Hello and welcome to our presentation. Today we'll be discussing the product info page located in the product data pages. My name is Tom and I'll be your presenter for this video. Communicate for Marketplace is an enterprise level cloud reporting platform designed for e-commerce merchants just like you. It's remarkably intuitive and easy to use. In no time you'll be running reports just like a pro. Product data pages contain a page named product info which contains additional detailed information about the selected product. With the product info page, you can view general product info, current quantities, cost and pricing, weight and dimensions, default supplier info, additional miscellaneous info, and the product image if available. Regardless of the filters used to generate a product report, the data found within the data pages are unfiltered or uses internal filtering for the page. Let's get started with the product info page presentation for product data pages to learn more about this remarkable feature. All product and certain sales reports support the product data pages feature. For more information about the product data pages in general, look at our video product data pages overview found on our YouTube channel. For this presentation, we'll use the product explorer report, but you can use any product report and apply the lessons learned. A product is pre-selected and data pages are activated. You should see product pages at the bottom of your screen below the product explorer report. The product info page is the active page we'll be reviewing for this presentation. The product info page contains a wealth of detailed information about your product. Let's take a tour of the product info page and explain each data group and the data points it represents. The first data group is the product info. This data group contains the basic data which defines the product. Some of the info is self-explanatory like the product SKU and name field. The ASIN is the Amazon standard identification number assigned to the product by Amazon. The FN SKU is the fulfillment network SKU assigned to the item that is in the Amazon fulfillment network. The UPC and barcodes are machine readable codes printed on retail packaging designed to aid and easily identify the product. The brand is a value that helps you in identifying your product. The category value is an identifier used in grouping products with shared characteristics. The parent SKU is an identifier used for products with variations. Parent SKUs and variations are commonly used when a base product has variations like color, size, patterns, etc. The condition value indicates the condition of the item. The most common values are new and used, but other condition codes can be used like mint, excellent, etc. These codes may vary depending on the e-commerce platform or marketplace. The status value indicates the status of the product. Active indicates the product is currently available for sale. Inactive indicates the product is no longer available for sale. Discontinue indicates the product is no longer available from suppliers, but will continue to sell any remaining stock until depleted. The type value indicates whether the product is tangible or virtual. The kit type is a virtual product. It represents a set of related products or parts for a specific purpose or assembly. The standard type indicates the product is a physical, tangible item. The next data group is quantities. The quantity total, on hand, on order, reserved, and in transit indicate the current stocking levels for a product. The quantity on hand value are the units available for sale. The quantity on order are the units on order from your supplier. The quantity reserved are the units reserved for sales or for warehouse processing and not currently available for sale. The quantity in transit are the units confirmed en route to your warehouse. These units are not available for sale but need to be considered for replenishment purposes. At some point, these units will become available for sale. This value is usually associated with FBA warehouses but can be used with any warehouse when product is confirmed en route. The stock level, reorder point, and quantity values are used when replenishing stock. The stock level values the optimal number of units available for sale to meet customer demand. The reorder point values the level of remaining stock which triggers an action to replenish a product. The reorder quantity is the value of units you order from the supplier when the reorder point is triggered. The unit of measure is the unit used to represent the physical quantities of the item. The unit of measure quantity indicates the number of units associated with the unit of measure. The next data group is cost and pricing. The cost value is the cost per unit for the item. The inventory value is the total inventory value or capital cost for this item. This value is calculated by multiplying the cost per unit by the quantity total. The price value is the price per unit for the item. The retail value is the expected sales value for this item multiplying the price per unit by the quantity total. The gross margin is the difference between price and cost. The gross margin percent is a profitability ratio used to determine the profit between sales and costs. The next data group is weight and dimensions. The weight value is the weight of the item. The weight unit of measurement is the unit of measurement for the weight value. The length, width, and height value are the dimensions of the product including packaging if applicable. The next data group is supplier info. The supplier value is the default supplier assigned to the product. A product can have multiple suppliers assigned but the default supplier is the main supplier for the product. The supplier SKU value is the SKU assigned by the supplier for this product. The last data group is miscellaneous info. The image URL value is the link for the image. The note value contains any notes related to the product. 
The right side of the product info page displays an image of the product if available. As you can see, the product info page displays a wealth of detailed information about the selected product. This concludes our presentation of the product info page of the product data pages. Reports are crucial for any business, especially yours. Marketplace reporting provides you with better reports so you can have better results for your business. You can contact us at sales at marketplacereporting.com to learn more about marketplace reporting and how we can help. You can join the conversation at marketplace reporting forward slash blog. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, click the like button, and share with your colleagues. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.